Hey guys, welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. Today we are doing an eight minute postpartum pelvic floor exercise routine that is great for healing your pelvic floor after birth or anytime. These are good exercises to continue lifelong. After birth, this is gonna help your uterus shrink back into place, increase blood flow, and also help control your bladder so you're having less leaks if you are jumping, laughing, or sneezing. Unless you have complications, it's safe to start pelvic floor contractions immediately after birth. You want to start slowly and then you can increase the intensity as you heal more. Of course, check with your own doctor or pelvic floor physiotherapist. You can do these in any position. You might um, enjoy sitting or even sitting on a ball. If you're newly postpartum, it might feel good to get down on your back. They'll be a little bit easier to do. So let's bring our attention to our pelvic floor. And so to get a pelvic floor contraction, we wanna keep our glutes relaxed. And then you're going to imagine a blueberry at the opening of your vagina. And on your exhale, you're gonna suck that blueberry in and up and then fully release. And it's just important to fully relax at the bottom as it is to, for the contraction to strengthen. You also could imagine a line or a string from your belly button to the opening of your vagina. And as you exhale, you shorten that string. Good, inhale, release. And on the release, you may picture it sort of melting or blooming to fully relax. So we're gonna hold for up to 10 seconds. If you're having trouble holding the contraction and you only make it to five or six, that's okay. You can always build up. So just hold as long as it feels good and then release and we'll hold it for the same amount of time. So preparing and exhale, lift in and up, hold 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale. Release, take a breath, relax. It may help to put your hand on your stomach and exhale and then also draw in your transverse abdominals as you do that. We'll get ready again. Inhale, relax, exhale, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Fully release, let it go, relax, take a breath. Keep your shoulders relaxed as you breathe. Let's do that again. Exhale, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, release. Take a breath and then we'll do that one last time before we move in to some quick Eagles. So again, we'll hold for 10 this time. Exhale. Hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale, fully release. So now we're going to draw it in for one second. Release for one second. Exhale, in, inhale, out. Let's do one more, good. Let's fully relax, take a breath. And we'll do that one more time. Getting ready, we're gonna go in, hold for one second, release for one second. And also fully focus on relaxing as you release. Moving with your own breath, exhale, inhale. Good, release, let's take a breath. Let's get down on our backs and we're gonna add a bridge pose to our pelvic floor contractions now. 
So getting down safely on your side, we can roll over, bringing your heels in, rolling your shoulders underneath. And then as we exhale, contract, we can lift up and let's hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release, take a breath. And preparing again, inhale, relax, exhale, hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release, good. If you have a block or a pillow, you could also add that between your knees. And we're gonna squeeze our adductors, our inner thighs as well. Exhale, squeeze, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release, fully relax. <sighs> Preparing one last time here. Exhale, squeeze, hold, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release. Good, we'll add some heel slides now. And again, we can use our transverse abdominal muscles. And so as we exhale, we're going to pull it all in. Ribs come down, shoulders stay relaxed. As we extend out, big inhale, exhale, squeeze everything in and up. Inhale, come up. Last one on this side. Good, release, breathe. And on the other side now, exhale. Last one. Good, fully release. We're gonna do some pelvic tilts now. So exhale, press the small of your back into the ground, pulling in, inhale, we can tilt up. Exhale, inhale. Last one. Good, fully release. Relax, let your pelvic floor go. As you inhale, you can almost feel your pelvic floor expanding a little bit. Exhale, it comes in a little bit. I'm not trying to control it, just trying to relax it as much as you can. If you think you have a tight pelvic floor, I'll also link to a video on how you can help a tight pelvic floor because you want to avoid pelvic floor contractions. Good, let's roll over and we can come on up. Sometimes it is hard to feel our pelvic floor muscles after birth or if we haven't been doing pelvic floor contractions in a while and just starting slow and building up and you will eventually start to feel those muscles. Again, if you do have any concerns, pelvic floor physiotherapists are amazing. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and I will keep making postpartum workouts every week. You can subscribe and hit the notification bell. I will also link to my postpartum resources in the description box below. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm gonna link to the whole postpartum playlist right there as well as the postpartum workout challenge.